Are requests open? Uh, I don't know. <clears throat> you can make a request if I feel like playing it cool, but, um... I... I just want to play ranked. I'm trying to... Just trying to grind out games. Because my streaming has been kind of, uh, infrequent. Okay. Fighter airborne. Be nicer if this was an oyster. Oyster has significant AA threat. Am I going to gold? Why wouldn't I go to gold? Because we could try to set a fire on the Georgia, maybe? I need some Unicum CV player who can teach me how to play FDR with a 9 point captain, but we both know you hate playing the thing, so your response is likely no. <laughs> um, there's not, it's not like there's a lot to the FDR. You're just bombing stuff, torping stuff, or rocketing stuff. Um, in terms of like, the better thing to do, Tremix, would be to submit replays where you tried to play and you had an issue with X or Y or something. Those would be, uh, those would be the better things to do. Capture that area. Capture that area. Come on, please. Somebody shoot this. Concentrate fire on the designated target. No. If it skews, it might be okay. We got one. So the Bismarck's gonna have secondary showing up soon. Cag just torped. Cag's gonna run away from the Bismarck. Used my heal too late. Maybe this one goes wide enough? We get another hit. Fuck. Rocket the keg. He's... I hope he doesn't eat torps and die. Autopilot mode enabled. But yeah, that would probably be the best thing to do, Tremex. Uh, if you have a lot of points... I think you can redeem a coaching session if you want. You can play the FDR and, uh... I'll kind of backseat you over Discord. Try to see what you're doing, see why you're doing it, see if there's a different way to do it. Uh, that might actually work best for you. I don't know how many points you have, though. Well, if your team wants you to play FDR, and it's not actually doing anything, then tell your team that they're wrong and don't play FDR. Um, We've sunk an enemy destroyer. So it's it's not uncommon for people to uh, destination reached. It's not uncommon for people to um, think, oh, this is the new hotness. This is the good. This is the best. FDROP and just want to like want you to play it or something. But if I mean, I I can tell you from personal experience, I played the FDR and clan battles on Thursday or Saturday or something. And I mean, my average damage is probably 20 to 40,000. It's very low. Um, FDR does not do well against coordinated AA. 
So as, as fun as it is meme-tastic and randoms, it's a totally different story in a coordinated environment. Neptune might get, get some damage there. Nope! So Neptune's dead. Well, now he's solo torped, so that's going to hit. I mean, we still have teammates here, right? One of those might hit. Or not. John Bart's broadside to a Georgia. Okay, well we have an Iowa. Azuma does not have torps. All stations requesting fire on the designated target. Long range Bart shots on the Azuma. Jesus Christ, just let me fucking play. Just let me shoot stuff. Got a flood? That might matter. Maybe. Fighter airborne. Give me a fire. Got a fire. That probably takes him out. Because he damage conned the flood. Good. Lombard versus Georgia. I have no idea how that one goes. I don't have any tools to be able to attack this stuff. Autopilot mode enabled. Attention, reporting the target position. Good hit by the Bart. Thank God. Okay. Enemy battleship destroyed. The Zuma's gonna run us down. Bart gets harassed. Georgia won that fight. Good hits on the Azuma. I don't know. We're dead. It's okay. Oh, we got lucky with one. Don't have another shot with that. Georgia shells now? Probably. Try to pull them away from the cap, maybe? John Bart's not capping. Because he can't, he'll be reset a lot. Understandable. He's just gonna juke back and forth, which means we're not gonna be able to bomb him. Nope. Fucking waste of time. You tried the Hakuryu snipe in clan battle yesterday, it took so long that the battle call is basically over, and the loss of their CV did not make a difference. Have you tried that? No, because I- because of what you just said. It's a waste of time. There's so much shit that's going on in the battle, that when you try to snipe the other the enemy CV, you need to get the kill. Because if you don't get the kill, then all you did was waste your time. Yeah, whatever, we bomb the Georgia. There's nothing happening here. Bart got a cap, that's cool. Um, I've been on the receiving end of multiple CV snipe attempts, so I mean, they do happen. Uh, which ends up, their carrier ends up spending time focusing me, I end up spending time focusing saving my ass. I mean, it's all you really can do. So there is a long period of time where you're not Problem solved, sir. contributing really anything. <sighs> I 
But I mean, that's all you really got. You'd like to see me play Immelman in gold rank? I have literally uh, hours upon hours of footage of me playing the Immelman in gold. I can link that to you in a moment. And I am out of planes. Autopilot mode disabled. Let's try and back cap C. Autopilot mode enabled. <coughs> Have I ever had a Citadel hit with a Lowenheart using bombs? Uh, in scenarios. So if you look over in the ranked section, playlist, ranked seasons. There are, let's see, Ristoff and Fighter builds. You've got bunches of stuff. Here we go, Immelman. Uh, session two, session three, session four, all kinds of Immelman play here. So that will uh that'll get you a lot there. Yeah, CV's never run out of planes. Ever. Just doesn't happen. Druja turns to uh, pursue the kill. Because how could you not pursue a CV? Let's be realistic about that. We got one. When does he shoot? Shoots now. You can cause those to overpen. Nope. You just got the Immelmans. You need some guidance. That will show you a lot. Much stress. You talk with your clan leader again. You're not good with her, and the Hakuri offers more flexibility. Yeah, it really just comes down to what are you good in. You know what what fits your personality, what fits your style. Like we made the change to uh, we made the change to the FDR because I was hoping to torp stuff and to prevent things from retreating or moving away. And realistically, all that happened was I was in the FDR watching them defensive fire rip through all my shit. So I didn't matter in the FDR. I was good for spotting, but I could spot in any CV. So it just didn't matter. How do you make your map large like that? Uh, the plus minus keys can increase and decrease the map in the in the game. Even spotting becomes trouble. Yeah, it <clears throat> it's not a joke. <clears throat> oh yes, it was very close, AP. Absolutely, very close. You could feel the closeness from here. But good game. Mm. Oh. Consider all the Edinburgh, the Neptune. I think we considered all the Veneto. I don't think we considered all the, the Musashi. Well, it made you switch on my stream tonight. Well, woot. It's good to see you, sir. We did pretty well. We had a 66% win rate. Stopped, watched a replay. Um, and uh, I played one game 
And there's part of me that thinks I might want to just stop. But I feel like if I kind of get in the groove, I'll just slip back in. Fighter drops here. It's a Neptune. Could strike a Neptune. Also has a bunch of friends, but it would deter him from going into the cap. Maybe he blows his smoke early. All these planes are dead, so we'll just delay a little bit for the resets. Actually worked out pretty okay. Work on the Musashi, maybe? Credit where credit is Auto due. The Razor is a hell of a good test CV player who also tests a lot. Yeah, I mean, nobody can fault him from being an amazing player. He's just really obnoxious on the forum. Um, I had him on the stream. We did a we did a the balancing act discussion thing where we um, had about a four hour discussion. I mean, he's okay in person. It's fun to talk with him. It's just. He's like drinking a drinking a glass of acid when you try to talk to him on the forum. It's just awful. I think I'm a little late for any kind of resets here, but it's okay. You saw that? You you liked that you invited him and you two talked things over? Yeah, I mean, I would have been up for doing it again, but as far as it's concerned, I blocked him, and I blocked him on the forum, and I hope to never, and I legit mean never, have a conversation with him on the forum again. I hope he never replies to any of my posts. I don't, I hope I never have any forum interaction with him ever for the rest of the my existence in this game, because all it does is all it does is awful there's nothing good about it the fact that you know it's got good information and stuff is almost secondary to the fact that it's just a miserable experience destination reached autopilot mode disabled <clears throat> autopilot mode enabled Tremix says, might be, but if we follow his CV balance, no one would ever play them. Well, it doesn't matter what he thinks about balance of this or that. It's balanced by a game developer team. Which, you might like them, you might not like them. But they literally have a worldwide successful game, which is considered a hit. And has been a hit for multiple years running. So, you know, he's free to disagree with them or think whatever the hell he wants to think, but... You know, they've been quite successful at doing their job. Should have angled better. Rune probably gets the kill here, though, which is good. Might get lucky and help him. We destroyed an enemy cruiser. I don't know how the rune fares against the Edinburgh, but at least we kind of helped that be a trade. Thank you. Let's see if I can go over and help the rune. I don't think I'd get there in time, but at this point, it's like anything can help, right? Maybe? If the rune angles to the Edinburgh, he's only got AP. 
Uh, Edinburgh is going to have Torps, though. Manitou is still an issue. Or his in total landscaping. <laughs> I'm sorry. It's a great name. Fighter airborne. Some people can't allow others breathing space, and then it's not a discussion anymore. They have to have it their way. But he gets a lot of his facts right. Hmm. Maybe. See, he has a he has a really good understanding of things at his level. The problem is he doesn't have he doesn't seem to have a good perspective on the reality of like game designing to a larger audience and it's just it's fundamentally different um the way that he describes stuff is this mechanic is terrible and this mechanic is for handicapped people and this mechanic is a joke and this mechanic is too easy and part of that's just the reality of the game industry players people being people so it can be really fun, I guess, to try to dumpster all over the average player who's not going to perform at that level, but... Average players are average. That's how it works. And you don't design the game for the 1% of people that are the top end of the gaming experience. You design the game for the player base that's gonna fucking play it. I have a heal? Maybe we can nurse the heal to go in. You try to profit from the knowledge off everybody? Sure, understandable. Knowledge is power. Shikaku v Rune. I don't know. Rune might kill the Shikaku. Most of the top players that stream are rather annoying. Smarmy would be the word if you described them. Well, it's not uncommon in a competitive environment that when you get good, part of being good is acting good. And if you don't act good, if you don't have the swagger, people won't believe that you are. Um, this is a this is kind of a silly example, but there was a guy who got into real estate, and um, you know, he's a nice guy, had nice properties. Um, met people that had money that could afford to buy the property that he was showing but he just couldn't sell anything just nothing was going and um what it ended up being was uh somebody said hey why don't you do this why don't you rent like a really nice car rent a really nice suit and you know spend a good two or three days um spend a good two or three days you know doing the rounds showing off houses and stuff and sure enough, he went out, he rented, tried to get what he could, and the result of that, please, he took one, he took two. Once the smoke goes down, he should be killable. And then the Alaska is also low. Um, you know, he took some people out, he showed off some houses, and, well, he has to stay there, he has to block. Protect that area! Um... There he is, he is super low. So, he goes out, he shows his houses, and he closes all kinds of sales. Because when people were interacting with a dude that's got a sexy ass, great car, it's got uh, an amazing looking suit. See, yeah, he shouldn't have left the island, he just gets nailed. You know, all of that information people take in and they go, oh, this guy is credible. This is a good source for information. This guy knows what he's talking about. Um, so part of the attitude is actually part of a way of showing I am a person that knows what I'm talking about. You should listen to me. Ha! Huh. This is beneath me. This is so dumb. Uh, it's literally a branding gimmick. It's, it's like, a well, what were, there was some, there was something, uh, internet lingo or whatever, a virtue signal, virtue signaling where somebody will like uh go out of their way to tell you how nice they are to tell you how good of a person they are and and why women should love them and this that and other stuff they're signaling their virtues they're signaling the reason for you to take them 
you know, seriously. And, um... Why you should want to have them in your life. How's ranked going? Oh, it's okay. We're winning more than we're losing. Teammate, I need your support. Capture that area. Capture that area. All right, whatever. I'm gonna get run down and killed, though. In a, he's in a destroyer. He's got to be over here. Uh, Rune is suiciding. All, stations all you have to do is protect Charlie, dude. That's all you got to do. to help with the Alaska. Oh, well, no, I don't have to help with the Alaska. Nice. Two into the nose, one into the nose. Good hits, two into the nose, nice. Outer appearances increase credibility. You always thought people working in politics or a bank wear a suit because they like it? Oh no. It's the same thing of why you see an officer, a, a police officer dressed like a police officer. If you see somebody in plain clothes that orders you to halt and you're under arrest, then that just sounds really fucking weird. Like your mind needs to be able to process this. And there's a way that people portray themselves in Twitch and other online spaces where you can know that they're elite gamers. They use certain phrases, words, terminologies, they dismiss certain things, they talk about how broken this is because it's 1 or 2% better than something else. I mean, the amount of people that actually exist in the world that are able to make use of a 2% difference is actually very small, it turns out here. But... It doesn't stop people from talking about, like, oh, you're just done. You're just done. There's there's nothing you can do. You're just done. I mean, there, it's a signaling mechanism. One of the reasons I think I eat so much shit on the forum is because I'm not anti-CV. And all the good players are obviously anti-CV. So I obviously must be wrong. Sarcasm! We still win this, theoretically, but I don't know how we kill the Musashi. That is the problem. Scout probably went dark. Otherwise, the Masashi would have shot at him. Two. Well, sorry, Donner Turn. I'm, I'm not the world's best detective in terms of sarcasm. There are some people that legit just don't know or think about this stuff. I mean, how many people sit around and really think about uh, anthropology and how people work in culture? You just kind of take what you're given. Oh, this is interesting. Huh. You know? Not that big of a deal. 
Mm, should probably go back out with Torps. Let's get a reflood. Please don't die. See the shells. Not a death. 30 seconds. Fighter destroyed. I might get the kill here. Maybe? We destroyed an enemy battleship. It's whatever. I'm fairly analytical when it comes down to like conversations about uh topics like that. So it's okay. Whatever, man. It was reported. Nice. <laughs> We're conveying status with manners, language, clothes, gimmicks. Yeah, I guess. Status as well as expertise. It's Zath. Reports are not the highest honor for a CV player. Not like it somehow makes you enjoy being reported. Action stations. Considered Ella Palmer uh, with the bombs. That's nice. Corpse not going to matter too much. Enterprise going to be an issue. Oyster can protect itself. You're a PETA. Pain in the ass. Uh, Enterprise pushing. Interesting. I should be going for resets at Charlie, but I mean, if this guy's gonna tell me, hey bro, just shoot me. I mean... Get too much there. Jean, we're on the edge of the Jean Bart's range. Yeah, we are. I think it's Libnik, right? Fletcher, no. The Fletcher was not quite good. This is surprising. The this like hard push thing here. Fighter airborne. Mm. Okay, so I guess they're pushing this side. Enterprise Torps out probably for the Pomern. Hmm. Fighter airborne. Well, if he's going to Torp our Pomern and I can bomb theirs, then that might be an even trade. Maybe. Fighter if you haven't played Warframe, it's a, it's a fun game. Tenno. Whatever the hell Tenno means. You too.
Drop with two, I think. Stay on him. This guy's are screening too far ahead. Retreat now! This is their backup. They're pushing without support. Now he smoked, can't see anything. I guess we could try to light. But right now this is kind of what the focus is. I suppose we can try being aggressive here too. John Bart's AFK, then that's a problem, right? It's gonna come through and fighter this. Which means weak fighter as well. And then just go back in. His fighter latched our fighter. Oh yeah, that's gonna hurt a lot. That's pretty sexy. That actually was in a bad drop. Surprising, but we lost all kinds of planes. That was pretty bad. Warframe community is quite nice. Yeah. Refightered. Hmm. Might have to start taking rockets against that. Alright, well, they've got a pretty good lead there. Akazuki v. Benson. Don't know exactly how that works, but probably not in our favor. Benson, not dead yet. Not dead yet. Concentrate fire on the enemy warship. Concentrate fire on the enemy warship. He wants to shoot me instead of something that matters. I'm game for it. We're not going to be able to kill this, but we can delay him. And we do have a lot of secondary range, which will be okay. Does anybody know what the range on the Kiev Torps is? It's turning out. Try to keep him broadside. Fighter airborne. That might kill us. HE though. So it might not. <sighs> Capture that area. Can't can't do anything against the um we can't do any- we can't bomb the Jean Bart. That's probably a kill. Can do that though. Try and draw him forward. Down. 
Drop a fighter to keep the Enterprise lit. Marco Polo still has 41,000 health. Enterprise can work that down slowly, but it's going to take a while. Musashi is a threat. So we'll drop this out here, which eventually his AA will chisel down, but we can work on this. And I think I found you can Citadel the Enterprise with rocket planes, so that's something that we could do. Warframe community is nice. The devs, though? Oh, I don't know anything about the devs. I played Warframe. I, I kind of got addicted to it for like two months. And uh, I didn't want to spend money on it. So I, I was like trying to figure out, ooh, I could do resource trading and whatever because there's ways to trade items and shit. And it just, it was interesting, but eventually it just became a farming thing instead of like a world to enjoy. And that, that made it less fun. Got yourself to rank one this weekend and on qualifiers. Now which feel way more try hard than Silver League itself. Sure. That's going to be what Gold League is like. The more times people get up to Gold League and they're like, eh, fuck this, I don't want to be in this, the less likely people are going to try hard up to Gold League. So, I would assume that over time, Gold League's going to kind of refine itself out to the, to the try hard assholes that just really try too hard. Drop the fighter. Get out there maybe before it latches. It might have latched. It did not, which means it's going to latch onto that. So, here we go. We get to strike in again. He did damage. No, he did not damage Khan. He's still flooding. Back out. More torps. Keep doing the thing. He forgot the lore. Yes, uh, fighter build Enterprise, pretty nasty, because of the 10 fighter stuff. No joke. Those torps killed the Masashi from the Oyster. He did. This is why you dodge CVs in the queue. You, I was clearly superior to their CV. Yeah, but why did you throw away your destroyer? Like, I didn't understand why you made that push. Why did you abandon your team? Because if you were in that midline there, there was a point where our Benson was way overextended. And if you guys 2v1'd him, you could have killed the Benson. Then it was one CV versus the two battle, or one destroyer. I don't know if you would have made the plays there, but you would have killed the Benson. You had a shot on the Musashi, but you missed him. Oh, with Torps? Ah, uh, okay. So you made a risky play, it didn't pan out. I mean, I understand. You almost got me. I was trying to hope that you would get into secondary range, but the secondaries were pretty piss poor. I don't think they did very much at all. Uh, yeah, 5100. So I mean, it did, it did nothing. It was good that the Akazuki came back, because otherwise you killed me, because this thing is pretty defenseless against DDs. By the way, Ascant, you watched the whole CV clan battles that you had with the other CCs and thought it was really interesting. CV clan battles you... with the other CCs. Clan battles you had with the other CCs. I'm sorry, I don't know what you're referring to. I would disagree on the Immelman, th oh, the podcast, got it. You disagree with the uh, the Immelman though. I don't think it's, wait, what? The CV clan battle thing, that wasn't with other community contributors. I mean, Boxy is a community contributor, but it's uh, that's uh, the TNG podcast. You would disagree on the Immelman though. I don't think it's doing that great and competitive since you cannot do surprise attacks over islands and hills. It's very limiting. Well, yes, that was my opinion as well. My opinion is that the Immelman requires long attack lines it requires setup lines and because of that it can be uh just obnoxious uh to somehow make that work and 
If you if you're against an enemy team that doesn't give a shit, they're just gonna like go open water and say shoot me. Well, the Immelman's gonna shoot you, so it's not a big deal. But against an experienced clan that's gonna pick their positions on the map and go up, oh, it's an Immelman. We're taking these positions where our side is pushed away from like the attack angles on the CV, so they have to wrap all the way around to come back in to try to make a strike or something. It's just, I think you can outposition an Immelman. And that's really a problem. <clears throat> By the way, Zath, uh, just a question. Did you see the uh, the video that I did with um, Seven? That was my first ever collaboration. Like, I've been on podcasts, I guess, and I've co-cast uh, Cots with Bogsy, but I've never done, like, a collab before. Did you see it? I was proud of how it turned out. Uh, we did a definitive kind of collaboration thing over the reaction to the rocket changes. It was great. Well, JCC liked it. Woot. Zath is probably playing playing the game. Now that I've dropped, he's probably in, into his ranked game. Made you rethink your leaving CVs? Well, that's good. Might be able to strike the Neptune. Fighter airborne. He drops a fighter, yeah. But that's okay, because we can strike into the fighter. Because we know he's not fighter build. Oh, but there's a champagne there. Which is too much. We know he's not fighter build because he doesn't have the increased range, so it's unlikely that he has the uh, the other skills. Might be able to make this. Two. Did a little bit. The rocket chain seems to nerf the Japanese the most, especially since uh, the Shikaku had very strong rockets. No. So I want you to understand Shikaku rockets used to suck. In general, all Japanese rockets sucked. However, when they did the broadside uh, rework, uh, when they changed <clears throat> uh, when they changed all rockets to broadside shot stuff, they moved the Lexington reticle onto the Shikaku, and they made like a smaller version of the Midway's HVAR reticle and put it onto the Lexington. So they just kind of took what was already in the game instead of designing an entire new reticle. <coughs> But you need to understand that Japanese rockets were always considered bad. They were considered not good. So when suddenly it inherited the amazing Lexington reticle, which the Lexington had enjoyed a lot, well then suddenly its rockets didn't suck. But it's not because the Japanese needed rockets that didn't suck. It just happens that they picked up the Lexington reticle. Um, because the difference between the Japanese and the British, the British had a large circle, Japanese had a small circle. So, in this case, the Japanese had a small broadside reticle, and the British had a large broadside reticle. And then the US got a version of the Midway. I mean, that's, that's literally what happened. So, you can't look at the current version of the Shikaku and think, but it's amazing against destroyers, this is what they intended. It's not. That was just the byproduct of what happened during the broadside reticle Problem rework. Solved, and the Enterprise has the old Lexington reticle. The, the Enterprise is what the Lexington Fire used to be. Board. Which, I can understand the, the misunderstanding there, but it is a misunderstanding. So we're chasing the runes, so we pop the heal. Nothing? Oh, we got something. Get back. Especially on Tiny Tims. Well, Tiny Tims are not designed for destroyers. They never were. Tiny Tims are designed for cruisers, armored cruisers, Russian cruisers that don't move, and battleships. 
That's why it has 68 millimeters of pen, because it's literally midway bombs in rocket form. It's designed for big nice cruisers work. and battleships. A six second delay on that is nothing, because battleships don't move very fast. They're huge targets. Cruisers are similar, but if you're gonna take the Tawny Thames and try to snipe a DD with them, you're gonna have a hard fucking time because they're not designed for that. <clears throat> Concentrate fire on the enemy That's why you have the option between the HVAR and Tiny Tim. HVAR is doubling down on cruiser battleship damage. Or sorry, Tiny Tim is doubling down on cruiser HVAR damage. Cruiser battleship damage. Fighter airborne. Maybe we can keep him broadside. Concentrate fire on the enemy warship. To the sea creep. Our team has taken the lead. Can go for the Palmer, maybe. Tiny Tims were made using drill well steel pipe casing. Well, yeah. As far as the historical whatever about Tiny Tims, I have no idea. Uh, so, yeah. <laughs> I'm just talking about the game. Like, how the game is designed. Yes, German rockets do seem manageable, uh, which is nice. That was the biggest concern, is like, if you dumpster the ability to be accurate with German rockets, how in the hell do you get citadels? And it was a legit question, and uh, they're just, they're fairly responsive. You have to lead with the Weser, you have to lead with the, the Parzival, some. Not as much as on the HE stuff, but some. Pilot mode disabled. Well, cool. so the fighter did work, and the Pomeran's going to be charging. We have 40 seconds on a heal. I'm not going to linger. We're just going to take the shots we can take. Concentrate fire on the designated target. Hmm. Take some Neptune AA. We do get another- Oh, all says, buddy. Well, I guess he has to turn because the Palmer has torps. Our victory is in sight. We dropped right as the last one died. Autopilot mode enabled. Our victory is in sight. <clears throat> You've been using MVR in clan battles to good effect, but you'll swap out to the Hikuryu when 10.5 hits. The MVR rockets almost feel the same as on live. I know it sounds weird, but legit, it's, it's not very different. MVR rockets have a 1.5 second delay, and when you click the button, the rockets took about one second to get to their target, so it, they almost added like a 0.5 second delay. It's very small. It's very manageable. So, I don't think you need to worry about that very much. So this, this one's done. You heard they changed something about the angle at which the rockets are shot on the Germans. Is that true? Uh, yes. I think the Parzival Investor has a sharper down angle. Um, which technically would pull some pen out of the rockets, I think. But maybe that would help with getting citadels. Uh, cause it'd be more likely to cut through the line into the citadel as opposed to like skipping on the water line. I'm not sure about that. I do think the angle for the rockets is similar for the MVR, though.
The ship limitations for clan battle seasons are the best and easiest fix to improve clan battle experience. It's crazy. Sure. I mean, it just gives them an option to keep it varied. I don't think they used them really in the last clan battle season because they didn't need to. Uh, there were all kinds of crazy comps. Torpedo protection. Am I happy with the with the state of most CVs right now? Are there any major changes you would make? Um Probably, uh, if there's one thing I would like to change, it's that when you are attacking a ship and you get within 3.5 kilometers, I'll actually shrink that down, and you get within 3.5 kilometers, so like you've got your short range AA, you got your medium range AA, and then you've got your long range A, which is, well, actually, we could just do that. Make it bigger or whatever. Then we'll do an orange one. I, I don't care. It doesn't have to be perfect. But if we say that this is 3.5, um, this is where the aiming for the flak stops. So when your planes are coming through here, flak goes there. You kind of turn, you avoid it. Flak goes there. Turn again, black goes there. Because it's it's trying to project your course. <clears throat> but when you start to turn in here, if you don't if you cross this line just half a second too late, black goes here. And you are gonna walk through this flak while you're trying to line your shot. And like there are a lot of times where it feels like it takes about three three to four seconds or three to four kilometers to line your shot. And this can be obnoxious because it's like you want to start lining your shot right as you're coming in here but you almost have to train yourself to like make this juke this juke right here needs to be in this part so that you can make that last juke cut in and then go in for your attack line and it's like this one little change made made the strike part of the the shot much more obnoxious but at the same time it makes flak much more impactful <clears throat> which is good because people want their flak to work good night diego people want their flak to do something so i mean when you're having that interaction that's a positive thing for the surface ship because they want their flak to matter but it can be really 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 fucking frustrating when you're trying to turn in to do something to do your job make a strike whatever and it's up oh, there's a flak wall great well, you don't have the time. You have to hope you get through the flak wall because you don't have the time to go around it and make another strike. But part of that is just proper attack positioning and it's just something that I need to work on and I'm sure other CV players encounter all the fucking time. So that might be something where I just do like a, a training session in a training room where I'm literally just trying to set up attack runs and... Uh, put that last puff away so that I can cut in. But then again, if you have a ship here and a ship further back, you cut in for your attack line, and the ship further back sees your new attack line and just puts the flak wall there anyway. So, it's just frustrating. <laughs> again with the triple battleship. Georgia has the range. Give them the ability to kind of move move around. Enterprise rocket's gonna be on top of these dudes. New rocket change is horrible. Why is it horrible, C Phil? And did you see the video I did about it? I did a collaboration with Seven. I think it came out really well. 
I was pretty excited about it. Uh, that's a longer question. I'm going to have to read that in a little bit. Oh, there's a Venom. Okay, Venom is scary business. Venom is not a joke. Well, that kind of worked out okay. Didn't do very much, but we did some. I feel like we're just wasting time out here, but I mean, we are keeping the Venom away from C and potentially dealing a little damage to him. Nope, nothing there. We're also on the edge of Bart AA, which is a problem. So these guys are going to start making plays. CV's over here working, trying to help the Venom. So that gives our destroyer some breathing room. So this is actually kind of working out as a good bait. Too high. Oh, that's cool. Our fighter latched on his planes. No, he just straightens out. That's a wasted shot. That's okay. We delayed a lot. That's unfortunate. Fletcher versus ZF6, but the Kitakazi can help. Ooh. If he gets some good salvos in there, that goes the way of the Fletcher. If not, the Fletcher's kind of beached and probably eats Torps. Uh, Fletcher's looking to make a YOLO move? Yeah. Fletcher's pushing and the Kitakaze needs to be helping. There's the Torps. That's the YOLO move. There's the smoke. Miss. All stations, concentrate fire on the target. Just shoot him, Fletcher, dude. Just shoot him. Two? No, maybe just one. It's just not enough. Yeah. Well, that went badly. Benham took Charlie for free. George is pretty hurt, though. That's good. It's a Turpets behind there that we can bomb. Okay. Many thanks. Some possibilities. Benham is turned out, so he's not going to be, like, actively trying to run these bitches down. And he's dead. We're not going to be able to kill the ZF6 anytime soon because of how long the smoke's going to last. Which is pretty tough. I think we can bomb the turpits once. And get some support that way. Fuck off. What's that? You want to see the DD that's in smoke? He's in smoke. That's how that works. Start pushing. What's he gonna torp? Alsace? Can't torp the Alsace. The island's in the way. You go for the Massachusetts. What is this? What are you doing? Why are you pushing a DD? He doesn't want to be torped. Hopefully he doesn't. Oh, buddy. Ugh, fucking great. I think he eats a torp. Good. Enemy destroyer foundered. Venom's still a problem. Teammate, I need your support. Need you to deal with this Venom, dude. You are a destroyer. Can you help with that, please? I'm gonna lose planes to this. Oh wait, no, they just fucked off. Nice. He's waiting on his timer so he can drop another fighter. Nope, Yolo's the Kitakazi. I think we get two drops here because the Turpets A is not great. 
Might be able to clean this out, which would be so good, because then we can help the fucking Massachusetts who's just been like sitting there like, can I get something, please? And fighter. There we go. Let's see if we can help the mass. Oh my god, please don't die. <gasps> he lives! What a champ. Capture that area. Autopilot mode enabled. Guess I have to drop another fighter for this because it's an enterprise. So realistically, I should probably fighter the Benham. He is midish. Where were those torps? Down somewhere. I don't know. There. Gonna give him a little more love. Fuck, I might have to deal with the buffalo. Of course, if I can spot the Benham. That might be Massachusetts secondaries. Benham smokes. He's like, uh uh, not today, motherfucker. Concentrate fire on the enemy warship. Should get some shots off there. Yeah. Let's go on the Buffalo, see if we can take him out. I'll get uh get some guns and some radar off the board. But we still need there we go. Buddy. Buddy. Teammate, I need your support. They're probably gonna go. No, Kronstadt is dead. Destination reached. Autopilot mode disabled. I'm not gonna waste time on that. Teammate. I need your support. Affirmative. Fighter airborne. Venom smoke goes down soon. Still a John Bart. That's a fighter. Nice. There we go. Smoke goes down. Okay. I don't know where the Massachusetts is going. Did Akazi dump torps to something? Maybe he's hoping to kill the CV? I don't know. Did Akazi turns off? Maybe he's got RPF. Maybe the DD's down there. Fighter destroyed. Autopilot mode enabled. Give him something to shoot at. Concentrate fire on the enemy warship. Uh, she comes around the corner soon. He can't see me now. Eventually get, uh, we can eventually get secondaries on the Venom. Which would be kind of cool. Don't die. He got hurt. But he's still a fucking Musashi. There we go. Come on, Kitakaze. Can't help with that. Autopilot mode disabled. There we go. She's like, but I want to shoot the CV. Try to get these in. Let's 
Still have some shots. He's down. I just think it was a really dumb change that wasn't needed. Well, here, see Phil. I'm gonna give you a video that I'd like you to watch. I did this as a collaboration with Seven, uh, and I think it turned out really well. So I want you to check this out, and there are actually chapter timings here. So if you look at this, this is probably going to talk about uh, this is going to talk about why this is happening. What's the reason of it? What I think, what seven things, kind of some back and forth. We're going to talk about here. Uh, this is going to show kind of YOLOing a CV as well as, again, kind of talking about what the difference is. So really, if you if you kind of watch this last section here, that's probably going to give you the most. This is going to talk about mechanics. Introduction, who we are, what we're doing. Uh, these three are going to be about you know what the CV is seeing these are going to be talking about some mechanics from what the DD is seeing and then this is going to be so much more so definitely check this out you know I'm sure you got some time watch the video then tell me what you think and I mean this is done autopilot mode enabled <sighs> Uh, I mean, we're done, right? Yeah, we're done. Hi, I love Japanese CVs, but I struggle with AP bombs on Hakuryu. How can I not lose all my planes before the attack begins? With torpedoes and rockets, you don't have the same problem. Um, okay, so here's... I'm going to show you something real quick, Matt. So I'm going to type in the little exclamation here. Exclamation compendium. So it's going to take you to a, a post on the North American World of Warships forum where I have all of my lessons, you know, actually kind of uh, listed out. So this is a little video on how to use the compendium, but we're going to talk about that now. So what you're talking about is how do you actually how are you able to bomb something without losing all your planes? So this is a section on AA. Some of the stuff that's going to affect you when you're going in is probably going to be flak. What is flak? How to dodge flak? An ingrained description, kind of a demonstration. It's going to kind of talk about that. Um, and then this is going to explain the recent flak change if uh, you're fairly coming back, whatever. Um, the slingshotting area is not going to matter because the offensive was removed for the bombs, but we can also look for... Oh, I'm sorry. So if you wanted to find this, we go down to the flak section. It's going to be down here. So we've got explaining a flak, how to dodge it, in-game description and demonstration, etc. Uh, then as far as how to bomb something, if you go to CV attacking style by nation slash premium, uh, this is kind of generic information. It's going to talk about sight stab, maybe some plane movement, different strengths. This is a uh, general bomber or torpedo bomber stuff. And uh, if we come down to, let's see, Japanese carriers, we've got ja uh, AP bombing angles as well as aiming the ja Japanese AP bombs in a practical fashion. So you come down to Japanese carriers, open this up. Bombing angles will be displayed and talked about and practical showing what bombing looks like. So you actually have quite a lot of information sitting here in this little post. Uh, so you can definitely check that out. The introduction is going to be basics as well as a coaching session with a very new player, as well as coaching session with a medium to advanced player. Um, and then it's going to go into more lesson related stuff. Cool. <coughs> Does manual selection even do anything for CV secondaries anymore? You thought it got taken out with the commander rework? Um, you don't get a bonus for it, but if there's an option between two different targets to shoot, it's going to prefer to shoot A as opposed to B. 
Am I regrinding the German CV line? No. Just playing the Parzival. We did a Japanese regrind and uh, got most of the way through it, but I did have to burn free XP to get the Hikuryu for clan battle stuff. Battle starts. I like the speed and the maneuverability of the German line a lot. When I use the Japanese line, it feels really clunky because it's just so... It's extremely not maneuverable, which is really rough. Um, the damage might be lower, but it's much more precise. It's much more responsive, which I think just goes... It, it means a lot for me. Um, that's pretty much the reason why I play it. The Japanese line is powerful, but it's sluggish. Uh, can we hit a drake? I don't know if we can. I don't know if we can sit it all a drake. Maybe we can. We can try to rocket the DD a little. Not gonna do much damage, we do some, try to get some resets. Shikaku torps the Donskoy, sure. What the fuck is this? You okay, friend? We can't Citadel in Alaska. I can hit in Alaska, but I can't Citadel him. Do I take the four point skill that gives reduced flak damage? Uh, only in like ranked, or, or sorry, only in uh, competitive clan battle kind of stuff. For the most part, no, I don't take the flak reduction talent. I have spotting over here. We're just kind of warding this cap. At least for right now. Maybe they just didn't send anybody over here? Or they're hiding underneath the Alaska. But we started capping before they did, so that's good. That's potentially a point advantage. Lepanto's isolated. We could try to bomb him. Let's see if there's any destroyers under this guy. So it should go out to about six clicks. Drop a fighter for some spotting. We'll go in for a reset and then we'll try to work on something. Yeah, both DDs are over here. Benham is dead. So RIP Benham. He committed without knowing what he was against. And I mean, to be fair, that's on me, right? Because I didn't spot for him to let him know. But the fact that there was nothing over here still should have made him kind of curious. Maybe he's not dead. I think he's pretty dead, though. Do you, you have radar? He already used it. Intelligence, <laughs> intelligence reports these two DDs are extremely important. The crows. You gotta run, bruh. You... If you ever saw, um, if you ever saw aliens, Marines, we are leaving. It's past time to go, friend. Speaking of, I think we might have to leave too. Venom, what the fuck? What are you doing? Why are you going back in, bro? I want to shoot the CV! Hey. <laughs> Where the fuck do these people come from? Come on! Do I have some commands for builds? Uh, no. I don't have god builds. I don't have, if you play this, this is how you play it. Ooh, Kitakazi's over there, maybe? No. Um, what I do is I have a I have a video which kind of describes what the commander build would be for a nation um, to let you learn about that but 
realistically, I should probably try to build. I should probably try to make those, because people really seem to want them a lot. Because I guess that's just what everybody else does. We're still within flak range, we're going to start taking shots from... I think we lose this. Losing the Venom that early is uh, kind of a lot. And we're just not getting any effective damage on the Drake. Yeah, I think we lose this one. This is already, uh... This is already pretty done. You disagree? The Haku's heal is insane? The Haku's heal is literally the same as every other CV's heal. It's 10% per second. It's just that it has 12 planes when it does it, as opposed to 9. But the German has 12 bombers as opposed to 9. Okay, Drake went down. We're just doing some fighty stuff. You know, this is a Minnesota that's... Okay. Donskoy versus Double DD. I mean... Might be a thing. Kitakazi coming over to assist. Oh, buddy. Just drop all we can. I can't sit at all in Minnesota. But I can rocket a Fletcher Kitakazi. <gasps> what is this? Things are happening. Kitakazi versus Donskoy Kitakazi. Georgia might ram the Minnesota for all I know. During clan battles, both a Goliath and a Petro couldn't shoot down a single plane. Bro, you're gonna have to show me a replay of that, dude. You feel free to send me that replay, because I want to see it. Alright, Donskoy is just running this bitch down, which is great. I'm gonna fight her the Donskoy after this dude's dead, try to keep the Shikaku off him for a little bit. Minnesota is now pushing because the Georgia is dead. How do we deal with the Minnesota? Because that I don't know. Oh, you stop because of rockets. He's dead. All right. Do you have a fighter for the Kitakazi? Kitakazi is going to do the thing. We're going to have to torp the Minnesota here. We still have a Pomeran, which is good. We have to work on this. Requesting assistance. Roger. I mean, I don't want to get shot in the face by a Minnesota point blank. Let's drop a fighter for spotting reasons. Alaska's doing Alaska Fight stuff. We do have a heal here. Let's try to pop that, because he probably just hit priority sector. Swing around and try to use the island, please. Okay. We're just going to be flea-biting this dude to death. Destination reached. 70 to 45. 45, yeah, cool. Kitakazi's doing Kitakazi stuff, yeah. Autopilot mode enabled. Give him a little more love. Swing over for this. Fighter airborne. We actually might have to go for the Alaska here. Oh, please don't. Get back! Get back! Please, please don't. Don't walk out in front of a Minnesota. Please don't do that. Please don't do that. Please, no. Get back. Love you too. Worked out pretty well. Pomeran's dead. Well, I mean, he probably he 
Chuck Torps, right? So maybe he scared the Minnesota real bad. The Minnesota runs or something. Single drop. Should definitely pay attention to what's going on. And if I'm getting owned. Oh, good. We just completely missed. That's sexy. Why are you. Fuck! <laughs> I don't know. I didn't really want to say, hey, Minnesota, guess what? But what the fuck are you doing? He's blocking the cap, which, you know, is theoretically, it's, it's a good move. But if you're not going to take the cap, if all you're going to do is, you know, just die on top of it or something. All right, the torps are out. That is a kill. Kitakazi cleans up the Minnesota? He does go down. It's on fire. It's Kitakazi. Kitakazi's real fucking scary. Scary. We hit the Minnesota for like six? Six, maybe seven with the Torps? He is down. How in the ever-living what did this somehow get recovered? Shikaku should be an A by now. Our victory is in sight. Okay. You wish you'd stayed bronze? A lot of DD lines to grind there. You're not doing that well in silver. Uh, it would be nice if they had a button where you could drop down a league or something. Where you could just go like, you know, I thought I wanted to qualify up, but really it just turns out I didn't. I'm not interested in this. Can I go back a rank? It would be nice if they offered you some kind of D rank button. Fighter airborne. Hey, congratulations. Well, thank you, obsolete paper. There we go. Now he's pushing for the cap. He's trying to torpish a Kitakazi. I don't know how well that's going to work out for him. Shoot higher. You see about slingshotting through AA. Do this around six clicks. Yep. This is an overshot, so if I did it around 6.2, then theoretically I'd be able to do that. I don't I don't know where the Shikaku Citadel is. It might be under the uh under the water. I whatever. It's wherever it is. Let's try this again. Let's try 6.5 maybe. So more if we're able to like do the hard turn kind of stuff then. Yeah, okay. It's just used for AP bombers that do citadels on uh, cruisers. Sure. Yeah, they do need to increase the time on this. Well... And again, they're redoing rockets, so it might be different in the future, but for now, they could add two more seconds or something and it would change it. Thank you very much for the three months, Meat Pie Man. What is the Shikaku Citadel? Are we able to hit that or no? 